hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you the cfd analysis of coil tube u solid work without wasting time let's start it first step make transparent this coil tube right click swap click change transparency Go to SOLIDWORK add-ins, active SOLIDWORK flow simulation. Go to flow simulation, create create dips, click this face, and this face. Click check geometry to see a leak. Analyst type is internal. Click check. Geometry is ok. And no leakage to analyst. Exit. Click wizard. Make project name is CFD Coil Copper Tube. Click next. Choose unit SI. Click next. Choose analyst type is internal. Click next. Choose default full is water. Next, default wall condition. Next, and default initial condition. Finish. High computational demand. Insert boundary condition. Click this face. Choose inlet velocity. Max velocity is 10 meter per second. Okay. Change the name to inlet velocity. Insert boundary condition again. And click this face. Choose environment pressure. Okay. Change the name to outlet. Insert global goals. Check mass flow rate. Okay. Change the name to mass flow rate. Insert surface goal. Check cat area. Click this face. Okay. Change the name to cat area pipe. Insert equation goal. We will find velocity of water in the pipe. Insert this formula. Choose unit velocity. Okay. 
Oke. Okay. Great Global Mess. Oke. Okay. Klik run. And run the simulation. It will take a long time. Just waiting a calculation. Many months later. Two thousand years later. After calculation is done, we will see how much pressure and fluid temperature is generated. Insert flow trajectories. Click this face. Choose line Choose fluid temperatures Okay See, hot temperature occur in the middle of the pipe, and when the fluid exit, the temperature decrease. Copy this flow trajectories Right click flow trajectories to Click edit definition Now choose pressure Ok High flow transistor is 1. See, when water enter, the pressure is very high. Then over time, the pressure decrease. Insert goal plot Check all goals Click show See, we find mass flow 2.69 times 10 power minus 7 And velocity 8.04 times 10 power minus 6 
the minus indicates the direction of flow. I think it's the end tutorial. I hope this video will help you to understand CFD analysis. Thanks for watching.